All right, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna cover Terror Zones, which is a newly released feature in patch 2.5 that just went up yesterday. And to unlock the Terror Zones, you just need to defeat Bale per difficulty, so you can unlock it in Normal, Nightmare, and Hell. This will increase the base level of the monsters that are in those areas depending on your character level or the monster's base level. And there are a couple stipulations. If you want to see them, read the patch notes. It's not entirely clear, but suffice it to say that you'll probably really only want to use this feature in hell difficulty in just to kind of spice up your farming routes, uh, leveling routes. I think the the main thing you're going to get out of Terror Zones is increased XP. You might get some drops, but I don't know if it's going to be more efficient than your uh, farming routes that you're probably already doing. So here I'll show you. I have uh, my hardcore characters. That's really all I've played. And I haven't played since before the first ladder season. I kind of quit playing, waiting for the ladder season, and it took so long to come out that I just was not interested in starting over from scratch uh, in the first ladder. So my Immortal King Barbarian here, you can see he hadn't completed Hell Bale yet, so he did not have the Terror Zones. You can see down in the chat box that it will tell you where the current Terror Zone is in a purple text. So it'll also highlight the area on your waypoint system with purple text as well. And this one, I wasn't sure if Canyon of the Magi was going to be terrorized, but you can see it didn't get that pop-up. So it's just it just will highlight the closest waypoint. So when you go in there, it gives you that little sound and the purple text telling you it's terrorized. The monsters will have an icon next to their name also showing you they're terrorized. Um, my level 89 kind of budget hammered in, didn't have any issue in the terrorized zones. Just kind of depending on where they spawn, it can be inconvenient. There was a lot of magic immunes, and it kept spawning terror zones in Act 2. It wasn't kind of neat. All the Talrasha's tombs were terrorized, so I had to clear multiple tombs before I found Bale, or excuse me, Duriel. And Duriel was not an issue. I was kind of curious to see what he would drop. And you can see there the, the icon that shows you they're a terrorized monster. He didn't really drop anything, uh, just a unique uh, linked mail, no nothing really that great. So just out of curiosity, after I did my first Terror Zone, I just thought I would go and do a quick farming route that I, that I typically do with this character, which is uh, Pendle Skin. Didn't get anything really from Pendle Skin, then I went and did a Chaos Sank run. In Diablo. Uh, I did get pretty good drop off of Diablo you'll see here in just a second and then I also did Shank the Overseer and I forget the other uh, super unique monster that spawns next to him but so you see here I get a uh, this unique ceremonial javelin which is I believe Titan's Revenge so I got got some pretty uh, pretty okay roll on it, um, 150 to 200 percent enhanced damage, and I think like seven to nine or ten percent, six to ten percent life stolen per hit, or something like that. So it was you know it was okay. It'd be better if it was ethereal, um, but still not not a decent not a terrible drop off of just a quick one chaos synchron. And so the other nice thing about the Terror Zones is you don't have to leave the game for it to spawn a new Terror Zone. As you can see here, it's now, it didn't pop up a message anywhere, I just happened to open the chat box and see it had switched over to the Lost Valley, or Lost City, and the Valley of Snakes. So I went to go check that out to see, and yeah, it was purple, so I went in there and yes it is now terrorized so I thought I would go through here and farm it and then as I started I realized that this is 
one of the areas with tons of magic immune undead and I kind of just changed my mind at that point because it's going to be very inefficient not really worth my time but I did for a level 89 character get a, a pretty decent amount of XP in a short amount of time um, doing the terror zone so I think it will be very helpful um, grinding out that 99 so that's probably going to be what I do here just to see how long it takes and I've never um, in all my time playing Diablo 2 had a level 99 character so yeah it's not going to be the original you know smash your face grind to get 99 but it's still you know for me I'll go ahead and do it and I'll use the terror zones to accomplish it. It's in hardcore too so it's a little added challenge. I'll be curious to see kind of because as you approach 99 I think in hell difficulty the uh, monsters have so base monsters have a plus two level up to a max level of 96 champion plus four level up to max of 98 Impossible. and unique have plus five levels up to level 99 so it, it'll be interesting to see just kind of how strong the monsters get for one and what kind of drops um, I'll get from them because they should have really have the entire loot pool uh, available so I, I don't have a ton of MF, I only have like 144% because like I said this was a budget build and it was right after the game came out so I basically, the only thing I think I traded for was the uh, Shaco, well, no actually I think I found that Shaco, uh, see I don't think I actually traded for anything on this character, uh, it was all, all self found. Uh, no, I take that back. I did trade for the call to arms. Um, I got a couple of high runes, and so I did trade those for um, the call to arms. And then I traded the rest for the full IK set for the barbarian that I created. So I'm gonna probably get back into D2 Resurrected for a little bit now um, just to see if maybe I'll get lucky and the uh, Diablo 4 closed beta they said they're gonna be sending invites out to people who um, have spent a quote-unquote significant amount of time in Diablo 2 Resurrected Endgame Diablo Immortal and Diablo 3 Endgame which I don't play Diablo 3 or Diablo Immortal so Maybe if I get a decent amount of time in on D2 Resurrected Endgame, um, I'll get lucky and get an invite to that. It is NDA, so if I do happen to get in, I won't be able to talk about it or anything until they lift the NDA. So, all right, let me know what you guys think of Terror Zones down in the comments. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. And remember to give them the D.